Hello. The first lab experiment my class does in Organic Chemistry 1 is to isolate from aspirin pills the active ingredient, acetyl salicylic acid. We do this by mixing it with solvent, ethanol, followed by filtering. But for us to communicate efficiently, we all have to know how to interpret and draw line structures. Let me show you how to do that. All right, for number one, convert the following line structure into a valid expanded Lewis structure. Some textbooks call line structures line angle formulas. Other textbooks call them line bond structures. They all follow the same rules. And organic molecules contain at least one carbon atom and one hydrogen atom. But in our drawing, we do not see the letter C for carbon. And I know that this molecule has more than one hydrogen in it, even though we only draw one H. This is because line structures are a shorthand in drawing molecules. With line structures, we are allowed to omit the letter C for every carbon and omit the letter H for every hydrogen that is bonded to carbon. But if that hydrogen is bonded to oxygen, like in this case, you explicitly have to draw the letter H for the line structure. Using small dots, let me show you where I think all the carbons are in this molecule. For line structures, there's a carbon at every angle, like that, like here also, okay? And there is a carbon at the end of every line that is not bonded to a different atom. For instance, this is a carbon, but that is not because that explicitly tells me that there's a bond between carbon and oxygen, whereas this line tells me there's a bond between this carbon and this carbon. Okay, so if there's, at the end of the line, if there's a letter, then that is not a carbon, it is the letter. It's an oxygen. This one ended with no letter. This is explicitly or implied to be a carbon. Let me mark the other carbons. And we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Your molecular formula starts out with C9. We do not know how many hydrogens there are yet. And we do know that there are four oxygens. Next, to identify where all the hydrogen atoms are, we have to remember the bonding rules, in particular for the atoms hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. So those are the main atoms that we see in organic molecules. Uh, included with the fluorine are the other halogens, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. To remember the bonding rules for those atoms uh, from general chemistry, let me jot those down for you. These are the bonding rules that you have to know very well. For now, they are, they are all for neutral atoms. We'll go over charged atoms uh, later in a different video. I can explain these rules that result in atoms having a filled valence shell, but that, again, is also for another video. For now, focus on neutral carbon having four bonds, zero lone pairs, oxygen having two bonds and two lone pairs, and hydrogen, one bond, zero lone pairs. Our next task is to locate all the hydrogens in this line structure, knowing that carbon has to have four bonds. Let's take a look at this carbon at the 12 o'clock position of the ring. I see three lines, a double bond to the left, so I count those as two separate bonds, or one double bond, and a single bond to the right. If you see three lines on a carbon, that means the fourth line is implied hydrogen. Let's take a look at this carbon all the way at the bottom. This is called a methyl group. You'll learn later. And this carbon only has one line, but carbon has to have four bonds. So it is implied that the other three bonds are singly bonded to hydrogen. Now, a word of advice, do not 
use drawing the hydrogens as a crutch because you need to be able to do this efficiently. And the way I would count the number of hydrogens is not draw every single hydrogen, but to know that this carbon all also has one hydrogen. This carbon also has one hydrogen. What about this one over here? Do you see how there are four lines already on this dot? That means that that carbon has all four of its bonds, and we do not need to add hydrogen. It is complete. The way I want you to count, instead of drawing every single hydrogen, which will is a little bit tedious and you could make an error, is to count straight through the molecule. One, two, three, four. This one has no hydrogens. This one has no hydrogens. This one has no hydrogens. Five, no hydrogens. Six, seven, eight. Okay, without drawing all the hydrogens, you should be able to count the number total in a molecule. H8. That is the molecular formula. We now have all the information we need to draw the expanded Lewis structure. For the expanded Lewis structure, you need to show all bonds, oh, let's start with atoms, all atoms as letters, all bonds as lines, and all lone pairs. Go ahead and pause the video and draw your Lewis structure, expanded Lewis structure, right here, and then double check your answer against mine. Okay, this is what I have for my Lewis structure. Do not forget, for the expanded Lewis structure, you need to explicitly show all the lone pairs as well. Oxygen in the neutral state has two bonds and two lone pairs. Let's add two lone pairs on that oxygen, two lone pairs on this oxygen, two on this, and two on the last. So this is the complete expanded Lewis structure. Now let us go the other way. Let us try to draw the line structure for a molecule where we are given the expanded structure. And here I have ethanol. Go ahead and pause the video and using the concepts that we just went over, draw a proper line structure for ethanol. Two ways that you could draw the valid line structure for ethanol are shown here. They are both valid. These two are actually identical. And as you go through organic chemistry, what's as important as knowing what the correct answer is, is also knowing what is not acceptable, what is an incorrect answer. And let me show you some common errors that I've seen in the past for drawing line structures. One of them is drawing your OH group like this. Okay, that is for me invalid because you are explicitly saying that there's a bond between hydrogen and carbon, but there isn't, right? The bond to hydrogen is with oxygen, so this is not correct and will be considered incorrect. Uh, another error that I've seen in the past is something like this. Okay, so I do kind of understand that the student is implying that there's a carbon right here, so there are a total of two carbons. But when you have a carbon in the middle of the molecule, you have to show it angled unless the geometry is linear. And we'll go over geometry in a separate uh, video. So again, this is not valid. You have to put in an angle. So you need the angle. And for this one, it's incorrect because uh, the connection is not H to C, which it, this structure is applying. Okay, I hope this was useful. You can also refer to your textbook that has its own way of talking about line structures, plus you could always find practice problems in your textbook.